And I'm telling you, I am Warhol. I am the number one most impactful artist of our day. It's not even about Kanye. This morning, new details really are emerging isn't. about we Kanye West's alleged mental status. He was rushed to the hospital. The LA Medical Center. Center. The answer, Cause the last time uh, I think people heard about you in the news was Kanye West was having a mental breakdown. So mentally, where are you? Um, I think I'm in a stronger place mm -hmm. than I ever than I ever was after the the breakdown or i like to say the breakthrough what do you what do you what do you think uh, caused the mental breakdown fear stress being control manipulation being a, a pawn and a chess piece of life stressing things that create validation that i didn't need to worry about as much this is the concept of competition and being in competition with so many, you know, elements at one time. Mm -hmm. on, a, on a race against time, your age. Oh, yo, you getting old. Race against popularity on the radio. Khaled got this song, Drake got this song. On the radio, it's playing to death. St. Pablo ain't playing. You feeling like helpless every day. Every day, I'm trying to learn something and every day, I get, you know, I get afraid. I, I'm, I'm fearful of things, mm -hmm. and I just use bravery to overcome what I'm fearful of. I'm praying an outer body experience would happen so people can see my light and know it's not just rapping. But I use the world as my therapy, as, mm -hmm. my, as my therapist. Anyone I talk to is my therapist. And I put that as advice to people. It's like, use people around you mm -hmm. as your therapist. You know, I hit the glass ceiling. You ever seen a bird fly into a window? Hell yeah. They don't know it's glass. That was me. When I hit that hospital, that was a bird flying into the window. Mm -hmm. And you know, I, I could have you know, not made it out of it. But I survived and shit, but it's um. Are you scared of that happening again? Um, you having a breakdown or breakthrough? Nah, nah. I'm happy it happened. I'm happy to see, have, have gone to the other side and back. The moment when you're in the hospital bed and you're next to your friend and you tell them, don't let this person leave my side, and they put you inside of an elevator and take all your friends away from you. That was the scariest moment of my life. <laughs> HSP, you, you were paranoid of everything. You don't believe nothing. You're just seeing through all of the simulation. Mm -hmm. Everybody's phony, everybody's an actor, all this shit. <laughs> and then they make your friends, the only people you believe in, leave your side. I can't express to you, like, how traumatizing that moment is. I'm super hungry for information. I, I'm, I need information more than I need validation. Mm -hmm. I'm just constantly looking for the information, information. How do I set up a factory? Even like when I tweeted I was in debt, that gave me power. That, I took my power back because it's like someone trying to say like, yo, if you say this, you're not gonna be cool no more. And it's like, man, my financial situation don't make me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm in debt, now what? And I'm still yay. You have to follow your gut feeling. You know, everyone has a position in the universe. And, you know, I've been made and had the experiences I've had for a reason, to be expressive. I gotta follow my gut. When I have that fear, I still have to be, you know, brave. Stop strategizing so much. Stop setting so many plays. Stop doing things only based in fear. Like the universe will assist you when you are acting in love. When you're acting in love, you're like a drop of water and you have the ocean as your army. When you act in fear, it's just you and your money. Bravery is more important than perfection. Feeling is more important than thought. People get so, they put so much thought into it. What's gonna happen? I ain't gonna give the universe that. Mm -hmm. Nah, I'm gonna face it and they gonna face me.
you know, you look at this mountaintop, and at the top of the mountain, it's all these tools for life. So you proceed, you say, I need these tools in order to win at life. So you proceed to climb up the mountain, but you, you need tools in order to get up the mountain, to climb mm -hmm. up, you're collecting tools and stuff. By the time you get to the top of the mountain, you got more tools than was at the top. It's always like, you were artist, you were rapper. We love you for the music, yay. Don't, don't think about nothing, don't think about business, blah, 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 blah. And I would just, you know, the thing we were talking about before when we talk about Obama and Trump in the other room, we talk about trust me. Like, I would just trust, just trust the manager. Mm -hmm. Let them do everything, let them handle everything. Let them handle, you know, let them hire your business manager and this and that, and you get a manager on manager on manager, and then it becomes one big racket where it's like, the tour guy is talking to the label guy, is talking to the manager, is talking to the guy that sold you the house, mm -hmm. and talks to you, blah, blah, and then you're just trapped. You, you don't, you're not in control of your life anymore. And at that point, you could be easily manipulated, you know, uh, uh, a whole album with Paul McCartney can end up becoming a single for Rihanna because, you know, you're trapped in this box. All this power in, in being controlled and calm. You know, X-Men really understanding how to really use his uh, power. Or Superman. That's me. This is like, once the kryptonite is gone, I got the confidence, everything is possible. Building, acres, Raps, stadium tours, designs, companies, ideas to ignite the next generations. Like everything is possible, you know? And I'm just a vessel and that's my job in the universe. As a servant to the world, I have to be me. Mm. I'm not as good of a servant if I'm not yay. <laughs>